Hey everyone, welcome back to CodeFlow. In this video, we'll be diving into adding materials to game objects in Unity. Materials are key to bringing your 3D models to life, making them look polished and realistic. We'll walk you through creating a new material, changing its properties, and applying it to objects in your scene. Let's get started. To get started, I like to organize my workspace by moving windows around for easy access. I've set up my scene and game views side by side. This way, I can instantly see changes applied to my objects in real time. When you select our sphere, you can find materials in the inspector, which is set to default for now. So let's change it. Now let's organize our project by creating a folder for materials. Right-click in an empty area of the Assets folder, select Create Folder, and name it Materials. The Assets folder is our root directory, where we keep all our files and folders. Inside the Materials folder, right-click on Empty Space, go to Create Material, and name this new material Player, since we'll be using it on our sphere, currently named Sphere in the hierarchy. Select the material, and you'll see various properties appear in the inspector. For now, we'll focus on the albedo property, which controls the color of the material. From here, you can change the color as you like, then close it. There are multiple ways of assigning materials to a game object, but there are two easy ways. You can drag the material directly onto the object in the scene view, or drag it onto the object's name in the hierarchy. For our ground object, we'll follow a similar process. We can either create a new material or copy the player material. Just rename it to ground, change its color in the inspector, and apply it to the ground object in the same way. If you want to add more detail to your material, you can add a texture in the albedo section. Textures are images that add realism, like wood grain or bricks, to your surfaces. You can create textures yourself in software like Photoshop, GIMP, or even Unity's Tile Map Editor. Save your artwork as an image, PNG or JPG works great, and drag it into your project window in Unity. Let's quickly create a road texture in Photoshop. Start a new file with dimensions relative to your ground object. For example, I'm setting it to 100 by 100 pixels. Add grid lines for reference and set them as needed. I'll set them to 2 cm and 10 cm from each side. For this example, I'll add a base color and apply different colors to the sides to simulate a road. Finally, save it as a JPEG file. Back in Unity, let's create a Textures folder for organization. Drag and drop your texture file into the project window. To apply this texture, select your ground material, then drag the texture to the albedo box in the inspector. You'll instantly see the texture appear on the ground object in your scene because we already apply ground material on it. Then adjust the camera for a better view by moving it along the y-axis by three units. I think renaming our sphere to player will make sense. We'll also place our player on the ground and scale the ground along the z-axis by 100. Finally, change the clear flags of the main camera to solid color from Skybox. Now we can set a custom background color for the camera. One last touch for our ground material. We can adjust the color of the ground while keeping our texture in the albedo. To finish up, let's add some more game objects to our scene. Create a cube, reset its transform, and move it around. To create another cube, just duplicate this one move it to the side, and repeat as needed. You can also select multiple game objects to duplicate them at once. I hope this video helps you get comfortable with materials and textures in Unity. 
As a beginner, experiment with different settings to see how they affect your objects. Try out new things and learn as you go. If you have questions or run into any issues, leave a comment below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Unity tutorials. See you in the next video.